Welcome to Spiritual and Empowerment Living with international speaker, spiritual mentor, and best-selling author, Tia Johnson, as she discusses spiritual and women's empowerment topics to assist you in igniting your spirituality and empowering your quality of life. Let's welcome your host, Tia Johnson. Hey there, spiritual trailblazer. We are moving right along. Welcome to episode 221, Stop Saying No to your spiritual gifts, because guess what? It's making you sick. All right, housekeeping alert. So go ahead, check out the blog, the Spiritual and Apartment Living blog, where I talk about entrepreneurship, spirituality, empowerment, even travel, all right? As I mentioned in the earlier podcast episode, one of my most highest viewed uh, posts is my detailed description of my travel to Iceland. All right, so go ahead, check it out, get your read on. Don't forget to grab your favorite drink, relax, put your feet up. Go ahead and get all that knowledge. <laughs> all right, so I want to dive straight into uh, this this, ep- this uh, episode because this is something that's near and dear to my heart. I want people to start understanding their spiritual gifts and utilizing them, and this goes with uh, last week's episode where I I said it's my birthday month. All right. So also, I have a gift for you. Like I said, every week is going to be a gift. This week's gift is all about, it ties into the topic, spiritual gifts. All right. So go ahead, click the link in the description for this episode, and you're going to get some videos to help you with your spiritual gifts, okay, to help you practice them to help you understand them so you're not uh, afraid to use them or you feel like you're crazy because you don't understand it that's the very thing that I hear all the time with people is that's that's the number one thing is I thought I was crazy all right so you're not all right click on the link in the description for this episode so that way you can get your gifts of practicing your gifts all right so it's it makes you sick here's why Your spiritual gifts are tied to your chakras. Your chakras are the energy centers of your body. All right. And there are seven major chakras. There are more than seven, but there are seven major chakras. And your chakras are uh, spinning wheels. Okay. They're like discs. So just imagine like a disc spinning around. And they are connected to... uh, glands, organs in your body. So imagine you standing straight up and you have seven spiritual circular discs spinning. There are different colors. They are in the center of your body going straight up. And you can Google chakra graph and you can see what I'm talking about. Because your spiritual gifts, which I'll get to in a minute, are connected to your chakras, which are connected to your organs and glands, you will be experiencing certain symptoms if you don't embrace your gifts. And this is more common than you think. For example, let's go with clear cognizance. So you clearly know things. You just know things. People don't have to tell you anything. For example, you know something's wrong with Bob. You can't put your finger on it, but you notice something about him that just really isn't good. Lo and behold, you discover that he's a woman beater, cheater, you know, something like that. Okay. That's clear cognizance. You just know something. But because you don't really want to acknowledge that, you know, like when you pick up on that vibe, you tend to get headaches, really bad headaches. And that's also in relation to your third eye chakra, where you could get some migraines. So your third eye chakra has to do with visions, okay? It's located in between your eyebrows. So think about this. You have your clear cognizant and your third eye, which is clairvoyance, you clearly see. So you have visions, right? And every entrepreneur is clairvoyant. We all have our vision of a, an outcome, how you want to change the world, etc. Imagine if you don't follow through with your vision. And your vision could be something very local, like, oh, I envision myself with a promotion 
and you know that the bigger office or you know more recognition blah 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 imagine if you don't ask for the promotion if you just say oh it'll come but deep down inside you're just like oh i wish i wish i wish i wish but you don't be proactive migraines now this is one cause of the symptoms okay which is why I always say still go see your doctor. So one way I cured my migraines was I saw a doctor and I ended up discovering meditation, which helped to open up really my third eye chakra. And then I was good. But I mean, I had some really bad migraines. Okay. So definitely go see your doctor understanding your gifts so you can stop saying no to them is part of the puzzle to help you with this. Because you can understand it all you want, but if you don't follow through, then you're still wasting them. All right. So when you have a vision of something and you know the vision, you know, you're walking down the street, you just see if you have a vision, you have a very clear memory of your dreams. You know, things just happen. You just envision something. Okay. Even with your uh, your actual physical eyes, you see something, you speak up. If you pretend that you don't see something, then that's still harmful. So this is how headaches, migraines show up. You're just not following through. You're pretending. You're not acknowledging. And next has to do with feeling. So clear sentient, clearly feel. Clear sentients are people who can pick up on feelings, on vibes, whether it's a past life, present, they're watching the news, something's happening in Chicago and they're in Florida and they feel sad or happy. They feel on a deep level and the locale doesn't make a difference. The lifetime doesn't make a difference. So that's the difference between clear cognitive, or excuse me, clear sentient empaths. Empaths, they do feel on a deep level, but you have to be more close proximity unless they have a deep connection with one or two people, but empaths typically don't feel from a, a past life. They could pick up on a current environment. So it's just a side note there. So what if that happens? What if you aren't acknowledging your feelings? What if you aren't acknowledging that not in your stomach? What if you aren't acknowledging that thing you feel in your chest? Well, you're going to have a lot of upset stomach, a lot of chest issues because you're not following through. You're not trusting yourself. And I always get this mixed up, but I want to say it's the, um, the issue with your throat that women get. Thyroid. That's what it is, thyroid. Women get thyroids more so than men. That's the issue that you have with that's located in your throat. Okay. And the thing is, it can be um, like overactive, underactive, like high or low. And I can't remember offhand, but one makes you eat more, one makes you eat less, something like that. What I'm saying here is when you get a thyroid, it's in the throat. That is the physical manifestation of you not speaking up, of you not speaking your truth, of you holding your tongue, okay? That's exactly what that is. So many times I hear it where women say, oh, my doctor, he couldn't really explain why I got thyroids. That's why. Because I'm guaranteeing you there's an an area in your life where you have been either silenced or you, you don't speak up because you, for whatever reason, you're not speaking your truth. Okay? When you start speaking more of your truth, you have less throat issues. Because guess what? We have a throat chakra. And our throat chakra is all about being expressive. So especially if you're someone who's creative, like an artist or a singer, oh, you want that chakra to be in tip-top condition, all right? So speak up, speak your truth, be expressive, 
and you're less likely to have a throat issue. And if you do get like, um, uh, what's it called? Um, I think it's bronchitis. I don't know why these words will slip in my memory. Uh, or, or you get like that nasal drip and then you have a hard time talking. Just think about something that you haven't spoken about in a while. Something that's like a temporary thing. Maybe you you meant to speak up, but you got too busy and you put on a back burner. Think about what are the areas in my life where I need to be more vocal? Okay. When we are using our spiritual gifts, they're only going to get better. We're only going to get more powerful. This is nothing to be afraid of. This is nothing to worry about because here's the thing. Anything we practice, we get better at. And when we do that, it's for the betterment of us. So when we meet someone, walk into a room, want to do something, we have a heads up, okay? We don't have to know the outcome of every story. Remember back in the day uh, as kids when we had the Goosebumps books and you get to pick the outcome? Well, I was the kid that would hold the page in case I didn't like the outcome, and I would go back <laughs> to page 45 and then pick the other outcome and, and then send me to page 67. Well, here's the thing. In life, we can't do that because one outcome could be unfortunate for us where we could have avoided that completely there aren't really there aren't many do-overs in life they they're just they it just isn't okay so we don't have to know the outcome of everything but if your intuition whether it's your your chest or your stomach you know giving you giving you that feeling of no nope, don't don't do it no nope, no nope, don't trust that person whether you just know uh, something's up with Andy. I can't really put my finger on it, but I don't know. I, I just, I don't really trust him like that. There's something about him. Good. Don't. Don't. Okay. There's nothing wrong with having your spiritual gifts strengthened. Next is th- the reason why this is so powerful is because of this physical manifestation. It can go one or two ways. It could be a a stream, like a thyroid, and you may need surgery. Or it could be, okay, I'm learning, let me understand this. And then you become so in tuned that it's truly just second nature. Not even second nature, it just is a part of every part of your being. It's just, you don't even have to guess. And you understand that it's not you and your feelings where it's just like, oh, I don't like John because, you know, he, he, he didn't talk to me, but he's talking to my friend. So it's not about that. It's understanding it's your intuition, okay? Not, not, not your personal feelings towards someone, okay? Like, oh, he doesn't like dogs, so meh, I'm writing him off. Okay, no, this is the clear cognizant, the clairvoyant. Maybe you got a vision of him kicking a dog. You're like, oh, I don't know. Mm. Okay, so you have to stop saying no to your spiritual gifts because it's, it's not just about you. It's never just about one person. Imagine your your favorite author clothing designer, perfume maker, lotion maker, uh, furniture maker, you know, dish wear maker, whatever. Imagine if they didn't follow through with their their gifts. Imagine, because all those people are entrepreneurs, okay? Imagine if they didn't follow through with their vision. Imagine if they just said, no, I really don't want to go through the, the hard work of being an entrepreneur. I really don't want to spend my money or do this or ask for fun. I really don't want to do all that. Where would you be? What if your author never wrote that book? What if your teacher decided, no, I really don't want to do that. Hmm. What if they ignored that? Where would you be? Where would you be? So this is why it's important for you to start acknowledging your spiritual gifts 
because you're going to help somebody else, whether you realize it or not. Remember, not everyone is going to tell you the impact you've made in their life. In some cases, just like with this podcast, there are people who listen to this podcast in over 50 countries. I know, unfortunately, I'm not going to be meeting every single one of you, but you inspire me to keep going. When I look at the stats monthly, I think, oh my gosh, there is someone in, oh my gosh, uh, off the coast of Africa. There is someone in the Philippines. There is someone in Canada. There is someone in Italy, all over the world listening. You inspire me to keep going. And like I said, unfortunately, I'm not going to meet everyone. And I know that I'm inspiring you in some way because you're listening to this podcast. So please, I'm urging you. Unlock those spiritual gifts. Practice those spiritual gifts. Click that link. Okay. In the description. Share your gifts. And you can take your time with that. I'm not saying you got to tell everyone every single gift you have. You can even say, oh, it's just the woman's intuition. You know, it's just, just a little hunch that I have. Okay. Because sometimes it does freak people out a little bit. Like, wait, what did you say? You can say it was a hunch. Okay. That makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. You can do it like that. But please, please work with your gifts is is a part of you is 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 what makes you you so work with them all right so i'm going to leave you on that note i am sending you so many blessings i want you to be kind to yourself and as always i'm rooting for you thank you for joining spiritual living and empowerment with tia johnson don't forget to subscribe and tune in to the next show Want to continue the conversation with Tia? Follow her on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope at Tia underscore Johnson underscore. Have a wonderful day filled with many blessings.